This is a proof from Euclid's Elements, Book 1, Proposition 2. Given a line segment, AB, and a point C, construct a line segment, one of whose endpoints is C, that has the same length as AB. We have Euclid's axioms to work with. In addition, because this is Euclid's second proposition, we can also use the results of the first proposition, the construction of an equilateral triangle. So, let's begin. First, let's create a line segment from A to C. Then construct an equilateral triangle, one of whose sides is this line segment AC. Next, let's extend these new sides of the equilateral triangle from D to C, also from D to A. And now we'll create a few circles. One of these circles will have center A, and radius B. And we have a point of intersection between this circle and the line DA. We'll mark that point, call it E, and create a new circle with center D and radius E. Finally, we'll mark this point of intersection, call it F, and I claim that the segment AB has the same length as this segment CF. First, note that AB and AE are radii of the same circle, so they have the same length. Next, note that D to E and from D to F are radii of the same circle, so they have the same length. Also note that the segment from A to D and the segment from C to D they're both sides of an equilateral triangle, so they have the same length. Now, subtracting likes from likes, we know that DA subtracted from DE gives us a segment AE, and DC subtracted from segment DF gives us CF, so CF and AE have the same length, but AE and AB also have the same length, being two radii of a circle, therefore by the transitive property, a, B, and C, F also have the same length. This proposition is also sometimes called the length transfer proposition because we've managed to translate this segment A, B to another position, in other words, a new segment with the same length with a given endpoint.